So for Christmas I was kind of hinting to my mum and my dad that I'd like an iPod. I didn't get an iPod for Christmas. I got a toasted sandwich maker. Kind of the same thing. But I've decided to buy my own iPod. You know, it was kind of a treat to myself for being so... Well, it's a treat to myself. So if you order from the Apple website, you get free engraving on the back of your iPod, which is pretty cool, and obviously since it's free, uh, you should take it up, because otherwise I'd be just stupid. But I didn't know what to engrave on the back of it. I asked some people to come up with ideas for engravings, random and kind of funny, strange suggestions. The winner will have it engraved on my iPod forever. Exciting stuff. The suggestions can only be 58 characters long because that's all you can fit onto an iPod. Lisa from my creative writing class last year suggested about time you got an iPod, you're behind the times of work. Which is nice. Christine from the Film Commission, who's kind of ordered my sandwiches in for the past couple of weeks and knows how fussy I am with eating. Um, and basically we'll just order the same sandwich, it won't ever change, ever. Has suggested ham and cheese. My filling of choice. It, it, I like that, it's kind of random and funny. But I, then I might want to eat the iPod. Which would be good. Deborah, my own sister, suggested Dave Hart's Nazi. Thanks. Gemma suggested, um, better than a toasty maker any day. Good work. Leslie, who I haven't seen in years, she wrote uh, via Facebook um, to suggest, love life, love music. But you know, which is alright, you know. The only problem um, with that is, I hate life. Richard came up with a few suggestions. Mess with the best, die like the rest. It's a bit aggressive. Then he then he's gone for a stitch in time saves nine. Um, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Nice advice, but I did ask for kind of funny and random things. What the fuck's that? Grace Grace wrote in with twenty suggestions. Warning: contains penguin farts. If music be the fruit of love, kind of just tails off. This is not cheese. This has been up my bum. This is not cheese, and it has been up my bum. Hanging with bitches down East Detroit because they think I'm a motherfucking beastie boy. Nice. What's the fucking difference? We're all going to die. Disco. Something I wrote on a post-it note when I was very drunk one night. Around at Grace's house. I wish I was 18. I was in love then. I'm not gay. Note to self I'm a proud, independent black woman. Yeah. Milk. Milk. Milky milk. Profound and disturbing. Yark from Poland has gone with Dave Walken, Music Shock. Which is, you know, quite cool. The only thing is, in Belfast, if you say something shocking, 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 um, it sometimes means crap. Like, that music shocking. I mean, that music's awful. I, but, you know, I still like it. Dave Walken, Music Shocking. Tanya also came up with a few suggestions. Number two was, help, my owner has trapped me inside, what? Help, my owner has trapped me inside with his bad taste in music. No, help, my owner has trapped me in here with his bad taste in music. But it doesn't matter because it's too long anyway. So, that's rubbish. He lied and said he'd use me for exercise. It's good, but I never said that. And it, 
Any is that supposed to imply I need exercise? Me? Have you seen me? Naked? <laughs> Kasha from Warsaw has gone with Travaram. I mean, I don't think it's Polish, is it? It's just kind of like Travaram. I mean, I don't. I wasn't sure whether it's meant to be kind of like a guitar thing. Travaram or whether it's just like singing, you know, like tra ra 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 I don't know what it means, frankly, but I like it. It kind of appeals to my childish side. I do have one. Cat, all the way from Denmark, um, suggested two things which I am not even going to try and pronounce because I don't know any Danish. The first one she suggested was this. Nice. And the second one was this. Now you might not know what either of those mean, and I didn't, but she told me, and I'm not going to tell you, I don't think it matters, but it's quite funny. But Pete, who you haven't seen in ages either, hi Pete, um, has uh, suggested the compact discs. You were a faithful friend. Oh, Vicky, who's English but lives in Poland, in Warsaw, um, she sent me a message um, saying that she'd, that she'd try, she'd find out the longest words in Polish, Russian and Hungarian, but they deleted accidentally. So, it's a pity. Could have had something. Dorota from Warsaw has suggested Veni Vidi Vici. I know, I mean, it's like, a, it's a phrase that you hear a lot, but I like, I mean, on the, it's, it'd be really inappropriate to put it on the back of an iPod, because um, it's this grand phrase, and I kind of like that, just on the back of an iPod, what, what are you doing? I came, I saw, I conquered. And the only thing is I haven't, I mean, I haven't really been, nor seen, nor conquered anything, ever. Kate. Um, after calling somebody else's suggestion banal, you came up with the official happiest Larry iPodometer. No, I. Yeah, but, you know, I don't want to be rude. So, here's some music. Everybody put your hands in the air and get down on the floor. Get down on the floor. Sophie, um, sister of Grace, um, has suggested I invented it in Camberwell and it looks like a carrot. That's almost a bit too random <laughs> for me, even. But good, thanks. Thanks for that. Right, so which one do I like best? Well, it's a tough choice. But. I think it's going to have to be... I'm just going to have to wait and see when my iPod comes and see what is engraved on the back. <laughs> I know, you're all... Oh, you're all in such suspense. I know. But it won't take long. You'll find out soon. I mean, I can't really... probably afford an iPod at the moment. For some reason my pay this month um, is lower than it usually is. I don't know, I mean I have I have been going into work every day. No, yeah, I have, I have been. Um, so, but still my pay is, this. my pay for this month is £344. Um, and then I've got rent to pay, which is like, it's gone up this month. Um, and then I have to pay a TV license, well, half a TV license, um, so, I mean, I'm not great at maths, um, so that's, uh, I know it'll be fine, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, obviously the iPod is the most important thing, 